Well, hello everyone, I am Master Austin Lemon, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds! Let's go and head forth into the main room of Loro Castle, where it's time to finish things off, as yes, we are very close here, guys, very close to the end of the game, and well, if you head through that fissure there, you'll head back to the Hyrule, and then in Hyrule there's uh, some fairies there, so if you want to stock up on some fairies, or you just want to heal up in general to prepare for this, well, you can, but... We're gonna try forward, guys, because last episode we took on the treacherous target and he's piece of heart from the area, and we made our way through the, throughout Loro Castle, completing all four sections in order to open up the main door, so we can make our way here. But let's head forth and speak to Hilton and see what's going on. And this is the final episode of the series, guys. You've done well to come so far, hero of Hyrule. I trust you know how the Triforce of Courage. Indeed, we do. And well, Princess Zelda holds the final piece. And I have to say, this music is epic as hell. Perhaps it's only fair that I share a story with you. It's the legend of how Loro fell into its current condition. Long ago, Loro possessed a sacred golden treasure. It could grant the wish of anyone who touched it. It was known as the Triforce in our world, as it is in yours. Many sought to control the Triforce, plunging Loro into endless war. Our kingdom was on the verge of ruin. My ancestors got rid of the Triforce, but to stop the war, by destroying it, utterly and absolutely. It was done with good intentions, but it had disastrous consequences. The Triforce was the foundation of our world, and without it, our kingdom crumbled. Chaos has since reigned in low rule. We need a Triforce. So imagine my surprise when I learned of the existence of another one. Yours. A Triforce based on such virtues as power, wisdom, and courage. To that end, I have guided your destiny, hero of Hyrule. As the princess of low rule, it is my duty to save my kingdom. So I know you'll understand it when I say... I must have your Triforce of Courage! Oh boy, here it goes, guys. The ending of all this, yes. Hilda has taken Princess Zelda's Triforce of Wisdom for herself. Now it's time to face the ultimate boss fight. One of my favorites in the Zelda series, I just, I love this concept. As you can tell, yeah, Yuga fused with Ganon. You, Ganon! Yeah. <laughs> Yuga, I command you, seize the Triforce of Courage from him. Loro shall be reborn! Alright, and yes, here is where the true battle begins. The battle of the hero of Hyrule versus the king of darkness? Yeah, the king of Lorul. The hero of Hyrule versus the king of Lorul. Okay, I thought I shielded it there. I thought I shielded it there as well. Oh my god. I am playing horribly right now. Come on. We need to get hits in. We need to get hits in. No. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Ow! Okay. Come on, man. Come on. All you want to do is just shield bash and just dodge all of these energy blasts. And basically just dodge you again in here. Oh god. Okay. We're doing good right now, guys. We're doing good for ourselves. Really? What? That hit me? No way that hit me, bruh. I call bullcrap. No, 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 Oh my god, how did I not get hit, bruh? Alright. Dodge all these dark spirally things. I don't know what they're called, like, dark energy blast, just in the ground. But okay. Soon enough, we should be good. There we go. On to the next phase of the battle. Give me your Triforce of Power, Yuga! We mustn't be defeated! If we are, Loro will be lost forever! Come now, obey me! Give it to me at once! <laughs> My dear, sweet, deluded Hilda, what care have I to save your crumbling kingdom? It's no better than that hideous Hyrule. 
When the Triforce is mine, I plan to remake Laurel in my image. Now you, my dark beauty, must serve your purpose. And look at that, the rolls have switched. Now, now Hilda's in the painting. <laughs> I can hardly decide which of my princess portraits is prettier, but I do know which of you foolish royal girls has what I need, and now it will be mine. Oh boy, now... You go again, and Hilda has two Triforce pieces. <laughs> I shall soon take my rightful place among the gods, and then the beauty of destruction will rain down upon this world. You want to go, man? Because we got the Triforce of Courage, baby. Yeah, you like that, don't ya? Now, I'll be taking that last piece of the Triforce from you, worm. How far you've wriggled, but at last you know your true destiny to give me what's mine. Alright, now, the true battle shall commence. The battle against Yuga, Ganon, Hilda? Yeah, I don't know, but here's where the second phase is, where we need to hit an energy ball back and forth. Yeah, you heard that right, an energy ball, it's classic Zelda Tennis. Yeah, it's, cla it's Zelda Tennis, baby, classic Zelda Tennis. Honestly, I love it, such a good concept. In every Zelda game, it's basically shown, I, I just, I love the magic orbs in Zelda. It's just, it's too cool. Hear me, Link. It is I, Princess Zelda. Your current weapons will be useless while you guys are painting. So I bestow upon you, my hero, one more gift. Alright, here is our final weapon to use against the King of Darkness and save Hyrule and Lolo alike. You got the Bow of Light. Its light banishes evil. You can use it only when you're painting. So yeah, we get to use it on our X button only, but only while we're painting. How unfortunate. This bow is imbued with the light of the Triforce. It can be fired only while you are merging into a wall. You cannot escape its radiance, not even in its painted form. Now, for the sake of our worlds, let fly these arrows, and may your aim be true, Link. Thanks, Zelda. I appreciate it. And well, now we need to equip the bow of light. So let's go ahead and equip it. I mean, I could equip it to the Y button like that. So you know what? I like using the bows on the Y button. So you know what? Let's go ahead, do that, and what you want to do is shoot him out like that, and then merge the painting and do it the opposite way. And that's the first part of it. Generally, these battles are very easy, these should not be hard, as you can tell, I have not used one single fairy, but this is this is on normal, it's not in hero mode, so it shouldn't be that hard. But here is a more difficult part where you can definitely lose a lot more HP. These fire flies, fire butterflies, I don't even know what you would call them at this point. Oh god. Okay. No, you're rude. You're very rude. Alright. Now, let's hit more magic orbs. Ow. Okay. Way to fly it at me, buddy. Get out of my face, you butt face. Okay. We were able to knock it back at him after multiple hits. Just my god, this is rough. And now, in this section, now he's gonna charge at you. Yeah. Now he's gonna charge at you, and he's gonna try and slow down, but... Ah, <sighs> too slow, Yuga and Hilda, Yuga and Hilda, I don't even know. Too slow, my friend. And now let's get a bunch of hits on him, and now, more dodging of fireflies. Awesome, man, I love this. And actually, wait, this is easy. Wait, this is actually sort of easy to dodge. Ow, oh, okay, I say that and I immediately get hit. Honestly, that's karma to me. That's karma, man. That, that's some karma. Okay, now I'm getting more karma. This is too much. This is too much, Yuga and Hilda. Yuga and Hilda, this is too much karma. Come on, give me a break. Now, time to play. Back and four. Oh, okay, I, I failed at that, but you know what? I'm miserable. I suck at this. Let's try our hands again at tennis energy balls. Okay, come on, man. I'm sucking like hell at this. All right, focus in now, baby. Focus in now, you little son of. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna shut up now. I'm just gonna shut up so I can actually get this because I've gotten hit twice now. I suck at this. Wow, I'm tragic. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Really, bro? Are you kidding me? Is there a delay, bro? Is there a delay? Is there a delay? I swear it's a delay, guys. I swear. I swear. What? Bro, why am I feeling so bad? This is not that hard. Out of my face. There we go. 
And now, guys, for the final one, the final blow against you, Ganilda. And as you can tell, if we try and shoot him at him like this, well, they're just going to hit him like this. And well, what you want to do is shoot it all the way along the wall. Yes, the game does a cinematic. Well, you've been shot in the butt again for a third time. Now, let's end this. You, Ganilda, you have been slashed. There we go. Great spin attack to end it off. You are done for. You, Ganilda, for the final time. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like that nickname, by the way. Let me know if you guys like that combination of names I created for this final boss in the LinkedIn Worlds. Let me know. If you have any ideas what the final boss should have been named, let me know in the comments section, because I'm genuinely curious. I really am. Let me know what you guys think, and what you guys would name this interesting creation of a boss. Nice, she learned right in front of Princess Zelda, but let's go and speak to Hilda now. Uh, Yeah, Hilda's not doing okay. Yeah, our girl here's not doing alright, but let's go and head over to Zelda and see what's going on. What more can I do? So it was you who had, so it was you who had me imprisoned in that painting, Princess Hilda. Obviously. Please, Princess Hilda. No one understands the sacred duty a princess has to hurt people more than I. But you can't. You understand nothing. Your kingdom has been under the protection of your Triforce. But that's... This isn't over. I must have it. Please, this has to stop. Ravio, what the frick? Wait, what? Ravio, what are you doing here, man? Yeah, lo and behold, Ravio is what I'd like to call the opposite of Link. As he has the hair everything. Ravio is basically the opposite version of Link. The version of Link in low roll, pretty much. Who... Well, funny story there. Your hero and I have gotten to know each other pr pretty well. But not long ago, I served Princess Zelda here in Low Rule. So, begging your pardon, Princess Zelda, but would you mind if I intervene here? Your Royal Highness. You vanished on me, and now- You vanished on me, now come crawling back? Why? Forgive me, Your Highness. I'm a coward at heart. There was no way that I had the courage to stand up to you and Yuga. But I was smart enough to go to Hyrule. I knew they'd have a hero who could help me. Another betrayal? This hero has proven useful to me, but you... You wanted him to defeat me? I, I'm i sorry, my princess, but it was with the best of intentions. I wish the best for our kingdom, but by ruining Hyrule, you'd bring out the absolute worst in Lorule. You'd rather see Lorule crumble? No, no, of course not, princess. But there must be some other way. No. Don't you realize the reason your noble ancestors destroyed our Triforce? Was to stop such chaos. That's not what I... Look around you. This is exactly what happened with our Triforce. Oh no. Princess Hilda, I... I just wanted to save you from all this. You, who've worried endlessly about the fate of Lorul. Please, Princess Hilda, let's do the right thing. Lorul may be doomed, but at least our kingdom won't be condemned but for stealing their Triforce. Also, hey, you can see me in the bottom screen. <laughs> hey, guys. You're right. Princess, Princess Zelda, I've been led astray, tempted by the power of your Triforce, but I swear, I did it for my people. Please, Princess Hilda, there is no need to. No, please, let me finish. You are so fortunate to have a hero like Link. What courage he has displayed! That alone proves that Hyrule deserves its Triforce. Now I will ensure that you leave this dark kingdom of mine safely, and with your Triforce. Please, follow me. I know a way that you can go home. Alright, well, let's follow her. 
But apparently there's a way we can go back to Hyrule, and here it is. A fish are just like those we've seen in Hyrule and Lorul, but just bigger. Welcome to Lorul's sacred realm. Luca discovered that there was a strange crack in this grim slate. Through it, we could sense that there was another world beyond ours, a place where the Triforce still existed. He and I devised the scheme that imperiled your kingdom, but I alone will set this right. Please now, if you'll give me your bracelet, Link. Sure. The question is, what are you gonna do with it? I should be able to use the last of its power to send the both of you home to Hyrule. It's been a pleasure, my friend. I got to meet a real, live, genuine hero. <laughs> Who knows, maybe some of your courage rubbed off on me. So thanks, Link. Well, now both of us are paintings, just like around the start of the game. And here we go, guys, back to how do we go back to our Triforce, to our sacred realm. Well, see ya, Hilda, and see ya, Rabio. It was nice knowing you guys. And it looks like all of the magic and power in Rabio's bracelet is gone. All of it's been used up. And things are darkening real fast in lower roll. I will say I love these scenes though. In the in two D Zelda games, those three D scenes just they look so good. I love them. Now here we are. Can you hear me? Please open your eyes, Link. Uh, what do you want me for? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. And look, Link. Yeah, what? Oh, would you look at the Triforce? What, what are we gonna wish for? Are we gonna wish for some candy, some ice cream? Like, what are we wishing for? How wonderful, we're back home! I mean, we're back home, but I, I don't know if I want to be here, man. You know, I've never seen the Triforce a whole. Let's go take a closer look, Link. Alright, Princess, let's take a closer look, but I don't want to. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna go nappy nap. I'm gonna go sleep. Come on, Link the Triforce! Yeah, if you try to run off and just leave Zelda, she, the game will literally force you to follow her. So let's go and run ahead, run along to the Triforce. I have to say, I love these scenes, like the Sacred Realm, these kinds of looks in 2D Zelda games where they give you this more 3D look. I love it so much. It just, it looks so good. It's so cool. I just, I can't get over how awesome this is, man. Every time I play through Link to Worlds, it's just, it's amazing seeing this. But, let's head to the Triforce. How terribly sad for Princess Hilda to be driven to such desperation. Her kingdom was in such a sorry state. She and I are as different as she thought. I really do understand why she needed our Triforce. Thanks to your heroic efforts, our Triforce and Hyrule itself have been made whole again. There's just one thing left to do, Link. You restored the Triforce. Now, just reach out and touch it. Whatever your wish, it will be granted. Yeah, after all that we've seen, do we not share the same wish? I mean, I don't know about you, Princess Zelda, but... <laughs> I kind of want some ice cream. I mean, I kind of I want... <laughs> I, I want to make my own kingdom. I want some ice cream. <laughs> oh, God. It's just a joke, guys, I know, but... Let's go ahead and make our wish, which is obviously going to be restoring Low Rules Triforce and returning their kingdom to peace and glory. No, never mind. I, I want a lollipop. I want some ice cream. <laughs> oh, God. It's awfully bright. But there we go.
And there it is, Lolo's Triforce has been restored. Now Lolo is back in its bright and beautiful state. Thank you, Princess Zelda. Oh, thank you. And to you as well, Hero of Hyrule. Thank you, Link. No problem, Hilda. No problem. Well, that does it. We restored Lolo. And Hyrule's peace is at peace once again. And that does it, guys. That does it for the Legend of Zelda. I'm waiting for the text because I want to like say at the same time as the game. Come on. When is it going to show? Okay, I guess it's not going to show, but... That does it for the Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds, guys, this whole playthrough. That does it. Again, just like Ocarina of Time 3D. We finished the playthrough, 100% of the game, went through everything, and now we're done. And trust me, guys, I wish I could provide better. I wish I could have a capture card for my 3DS or something, because just still this quality is yikes. But, I mean, come new Zelda playthroughs on the channel. Hopefully I'll have a capture card. Hopefully I can provide better quality, because... I did actually get myself a new job, guys. I know this is quite off topic, but I did get myself a job at a car wash. So hopefully I'll have the funds to be able to buy a capture card, camera, all that. So I can make far better quality for videos. Of course, it'll require more editing, but I'm okay with that. Because, I mean, I, I edit my own videos and I enjoy it. So, but that's it, guys. That's the entirety of the game. The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. I know some of you that are subscribed to the channel and watch the videos, you may know this game. You may know Link Between Worlds, but... Just this whole game, it's it's such a good game. Like, if you haven't played it already, check out Link Between Worlds. Like, buy it for yourself. Go on Amazon, go to a retailer that may be selling the Link Between Worlds for the 3DS. Get either a physical card or get an online version to download. Oh, whichever one you prefer, get the game. It is so good. I believe it's selling for like 20 bucks or something on Amazon, so, or maybe 30. I don't know for sure, I'd have to double check that, but... It's... Just this playthrough was a lot of fun, guys. This Zelda game, I grew up playing it, and it was really fun to play on the channel. I'm glad I played on the channel, because it allowed me to relive a Zelda game that I love and adore, and allowed me to relive a Zelda game that I feel is just underrated, again, because a lot of Zelda games are underrated, in my opinion. Like, I mean, people came to the Zelda series, a lot of people came to the Zelda series knowing the experience of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild brought a lot of new players into the Zelda franchise, and... There, some people's first Zelda game was Breath of the Wild, and they got used to the open world feeling of Breath of the Wild and with the Divine Beasts. And now come these games where they're more linear, the temples are more, I guess, open, but they're very linear, but they're still good Zelda games. They, it may be a linear game, but it's still very good. It may be very short, but it has great music, great temples, great story, very fun mechanics. Just everything about this game is amazing. The only thing I'd have to complain about it is how quick it is to complete. Like, the, literally the only thing I have to say that I would have to complain about is how short this game is. Because if it was longer, it'd be an even better adventure. I've spent so many hours on this game, guys. So good. And hey, the music. Hey, look at that, Kristen Kirby. And Greg T. said Downick. Uh, the, uh, Robert, John, Kaylee, Lewis, Timiko Henley. Yeah, all these names. All these people were a part of making... A Link Between Worlds for 3DS, and I said this in my Ocarina of Time 3D playthrough that I felt like I was going to cry during the credits at the end of that playthrough, and honestly, <laughs> I think I'm going to cry here, guys. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not actually going to cry, but just the music, this whole game, and hey, look at the Mai Mai. It's just chilling on the platform. Huh. I never really noticed that. I never really remembered it, but I remember when I first beat the Zelda game, it was a legendary experience for me. It was such a great experience. Like, when I first beat the Zelda game... It was truly amazing. I, I just, I loved it. It was one of the best experiences of, I've had of beating a Zelda game. But, yeah, that's it, guys. That is it for A Link Between Worlds on the channel. That does it for this series. It was full 100%. Let me know in the comment section whether videos you want to see on the channel, any Zelda playthroughs, any challenges, any videos you'd like to see. Let me know in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Click that subscribe if you are new. And if you want more content like this on the channel, click on the notification bell icon, click on all. So that you're notified whenever I post a video, so you don't any of my content. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting this series. I cannot thank you all enough. But, yeah, this scene is where Link is going to return the Master Sword to the pedestal. And actually, if you guys want me to, if you guys want me to, then I might do a Hero Mode playthrough on the channel. I'm probably going to do a Hero Mode playthrough this game either way on the channel, but if it turns out that I want y your guys' opinion, then I might wait. But, seriously, guys, I'll link to you in Hero Mode. Here is where Link would group up with the sages and where it'd say the end, and yeah, but instead of that, it's just Link walking off and then the end. But on hero mode, 
it'd be all the stages grouped together, and then it'd show your total number of deaths and all that. But yeah, that does it, guys. I've done so many playthroughs for this Zelda game. So many play, so many playthroughs. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and there's so much going on in this game. Really hope you all enjoyed. That is the end of this playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. That is it for Link to Rules on the channel. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section down below. We'll see you all in a brand new Zelda playthrough. We'll see. Stay tuned because up ahead we I have two new Zelda playthroughs I've planned for the channel. A few episodes are already pre-recorded for one series. The other I am very hum pumped for because it's going to be a Zelda game I've already 100% on the channel. But it's going to be through a challenge run. So hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Another video on the channel. I'll see you all later. Peace out. And wait. Oh, never mind. It actually shows a little bit. Never mind. Okay, if you clicked off the video, then, um, uh, bye. But if you clicked off the video, then yikes. But if you're still here, then hey, look at that. It shows times speed and all that. So we only died four times. Okay, honestly, guys, I'd consider that an accomplishment. I'd consider that very happy. Only four times speed. Though this is my personal file. This is my personal file, so I'd have to beat it on the LP file to see how many, how many times I was defeated. So I may put that in the community post to show you guys. But, yeah, that's it. And, yeah, now it says you can select hero mode when... You start from one with the extra challenge, of course. I already have hero mode unlocked for the game, guys. I already have hero mode, as you can tell here on the title screen. Yeah, I, I've done my promo to play through the game. But, yeah. Literally, I've already played on hero mode multiple times. I'll be doing a hero mode playthrough for this game, don't worry. I'll be doing a hero mode difficult playthrough for each Zelda game on the channel. But, probably not going to be for a while. Because, I want to focus on just doing normal 100% playthroughs. And just enjoying the games. Making content I enjoy first. Then I might do hero mode playthroughs in the future. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Where we begin two new Zelda playthroughs. Stay tuned as they're coming very soon. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.